Welcome back programmers to the Pure Programming channel. This time I'm back on the simple image processor. Yes, we are almost at the end of this project. This time we are doing the save and save as features. Yes, I will add some menus and open another window to be able to choose the um, file format okay jpeg or bmp or png and also for some of the formats the level of compression and just the file name to which i want to save i'm also going to do a lot of uh, cleanup and i'm going to start with that by the way so it's going to be a pretty long episode i'm sure by the way i hope that everyone your friends your family you is safe we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and maybe like you, I am confined at home. So you would think I would have more time to do uh, videos and tutorials, but that's not the case. It's harder for me to find some quiet time at home to be able to shoot those videos, but I'm there. Okay, simple image processor. Let's jump into the code. Okay, so first thing, what I want to do here is I want to clean up the code. Why do I want to clean up the code? Once again, it's because so far everything is only one image, okay, the main image, and it's based on global variables, main image modify, main image file path, as well as um, some constants for the image main, image copy, image thumbnail, and I want to put all this into one structure and pass this structure around in the different procedures so it's much cleaner. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create, um, let's just have a look at the code, create a structure. Here I'm just going to copy paste the code that I've prepared here. Look at that. That's the structure I'm going to use. SIP image info and in this structure I will have the file path, the flag to tell if it's modified and also the three um, images, the main, the copy and the thumbnail used to display in the status bar to display uh, the main image of course to keep the main image and to display the zoomed image uh, when you are zooming. And I want to pass these, these structure everywhere uh, in, in the code. So, quick example. Uh, let's say I want to initialize, okay. Uh, there is the reset all function, okay. It's right here. I just need to click here, reset all, okay. Main image file path, I don't need anymore. Main image modified, I don't need anymore. Instead, I'm going to, oh, I forgot. Yes, I have this structure and I have now one single global variable. I'm going to replace my two global variables here by only one, which is a global variable named main image of type SIP image info. So I have only now one variable, which is my main image which is a structure. So as I said, for example, the reset all uh, procedure here, that won't work anymore. Okay, if I run, this will fail. Well, it's failing somewhere else. But here, I just now need to say main image. And remember, when you have a structure, backslash and file path. Here, it's not enter its tab file path main image backslash is modified is false i can free image etc what i can do here as well is say okay main image for example uh, image main oh come on image main equals and i can initialize with the image main constant 
same here main image etc and finally last one was image thumbnail okay something like that free image blah 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 see image here once again I need to replace everything in there main image um, like this and even here what I should do is every time I'm using the main image image main constant I should replace that by main image image main okay just like this and doing so I will do that in all the procedures so let me take an example of a procedure that will take a parameter display image and not just gadget as of now I'm just passing the image ID that I want to display but now I'm gonna pass the image info so I need to pass something parameter image info of type SIP of course image info and you know when you're passing structure you need to pass a pointer to the structure just like this and I need to adapt my parameter okay and now I need to do I need to use this pointer here everywhere so here what are we testing we're testing the image copy so what I'm going to do here because I were using the image a lot of time I'm going to use a protected and not defined by the way protected we saw that in the scope it's better to use protected protected image equals image info image copy because that's the one we are going to display and by the way here I should say here protected and here protected okay and then the rest is the same gadget image main nya, 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 nya. I'm sorry yes everything stays the same uh, right here and that's how I'm going to do everywhere I'm going to adapt the code so that I'm passing the uh, image info structure everywhere so rather than doing this coding and speeding up the speed I'm just going to copy paste uh, what I've done here just like this but not with this of course okay so let's go through the code did not change a lot of stuff the image info structure the global variable as I said and now let's look at where display an image image in okay so you see the protected here they're not here anymore I'm gonna leave them because I've not changed that in the future files image info okay I'm using the image copy fill status bar I'm also passing an image info and I'm using image main or image thumbnail depending on what I'm going to display okay fill status bar passing the image info once again enable gadgets I'm passing the image info because I want to test if it's not an image if it's not modified to be able to um, disable the menu items ah, I've left some dead code right here okay reset all as I said just like that 
oh yes and now when you're calling the different procedures of course you're passing the main image okay uh, address to get the pointer on the main image load image from file still passing the image info and also the file path because that's the one we get from the open image from the open file requester once again passing the image info basically we're passing the image info almost on every procedure that needs an image and when we're calling it we're calling with the address of the main image apply zoom apply zoom apply zoom again here we are in the window size uh, on gadget event on size window calling main image etc etc here i'm creating the open window so yes I, i've created this procedure open window main to look like the open window resize and the next to come open window save and the main code is now reduced to opening the main window resetting everything binding the events loading the the file and then the event loop and that is it so at this point we have a much cleaner code the info about an image is located in one structure the image info that being said there's still something that is not completely correct what is it is it that even if i have my structure with my okay five fields here image copy ima image main image copy image thumbnail we are still using those constants doesn't make a lot of sense imagine you want to display more images imagine you want to have let's say one like a photoshop or paint whatever one tab per image you want to open several images and display them each in their own tab you cannot use constant like that because you cannot declare all the constants yeah, that you are going to use up front you you don't know them so I, I want to stop using those constants so i'm just going to just remove the constant remove yes the image constant and here in the reset all what do i do here huh so far i will initialize to zero to say okay whatever I, I could even not initialize them and then when i'm going to load the image here load image actually i'm going to um, use the fact that the load image returns if you pass the um, to the load image you can pass in the flags not in the flag but in the image here you can pass pb any and the pb any will make the load image return the actual id that has been created for you so we are going to do something like that okay image main equals well load image we are going to load the image but instead of passing here i'm passing pb any this will make the load image return the actual image main and then i can test instead of testing against directly the return of the load image i can just test if the image main is actually different from zero i can leave it like that or i can just say this to return a positive or even i can say that that's even better and that's how i'm going to do that for every uh, image not image but every field of my structure that i want to initialize with a um, an image
so for the image copy and the image thumbnail so in the display image in just gadget for example I will um, use this as well uh, when I copy the image uh, image copy yes here so I've prepared this as well let's have a look at that boom that's much easier this way okay no more image enumeration my structure and then if I go back to my reset all you see exactly image info image main exactly the same image copy copy image I'm also passing the pbne so here my image copy is initialized with the copy image so as soon as I load my image I'm copying it creating the image copy and uh, what else fills fill status bar here I'm passing the info and here image thumbnail see copy image I'm copying the main image passing the PB any here the difference is that I'm doing that uh, every time I'm calling the fill status bar every time I'm refreshing the status bar I'm recreating the thumbnail by copying the main image but I could even I think I don't even have to keep the image thumbnail uh, in the image info because it's only used in my status bar it's only used in the status bar image here and it's not only created there so I guess I could skip it remove it from we're gonna try that but I want to show you something else uh, that you may have noticed it's in this procedure here I'm using the desk desktop unscaled X and unscaled Y and actually here it's wrong it's a Y um, just to when the the screen is using you know the um, the display settings the DPI you are changing the uh, DPI of your screen uh, if you want to use it correctly what I want to do in the and actually I got that from one of you guys in the comments um, an image processor here when you're displaying an image you don't care really of the DPI you're using an 800 let's say by 600 picture should be display well 800 pixel by 600 pixel it's not, it should not be zoomed if you even even if your DPI are 200 percent the image should, should should stay the same size it should not be zoomed with the rest of the application because the, the zoom the DPI that you're applying is only applied to make things bigger to read okay the menus the icons stuff like that but the image itself is its size is not changed it's 800 by 600 pixels and that's what you want to be displayed so in order to do that I was I had to use the desktop unscaled X and desktop unscaled Y which are functions procedures or commands that unscale a value on the y-axis or x-axis so I'm just unscaling the width and the height to compute the actual position and the actual size of my scrolling area